an update on all of my horses because there has been a lot going on. We scanned it, it just showed a lot of information. I would never forgive myself. We did have a little bit of a scare with Zeb. He was shaking a little bit and his breathing was then really shallow. His spleen had enlarged. If you guys haven't noticed, I have no Kato here. and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is a little bit different to my usual videos. I just thought I would do an update on all of my horses because there has been a lot going on. If you follow my Instagram, you may know of a few things that have gone on, but yeah, I just wanted to give you an update on all of my horses, let you know what's been going on with them, how they are and what our plans are. First up, we have the lovely Maximus here. Max has had a really annoying stop-start season because we had all of the house at the beginning of the year and we had um, a lot of other personal things going on. I did one event, really wasn't in the right headspace, so I withdrew him and then I didn't actually get out eventing until August. We did a B100 at Blindly Heath. He came second with a double clear, finishing on his dressage score. And then we went to Wellington international and did the b105 where he finished fifth and was absolutely awesome he stormed around the tough cross country really really good boy uh, i was really really chuffed with him actually it was really hard so we were just getting going with our season we had entered him into south of england novice and then we were going to do swalcliff i think that's how you say it or swaycliff not sure and then we were going to end probably on bicton either the b100 three day or or the two star. They were kind of our plans. He was going really, really well. And then now, unfortunately, he is on sort of box rest, pen rest, with being precautionary. He wasn't lame, he was feeling the best. Honestly, he was feeling so good. His front left leg, he had a little bit of a swelling. I mean, just a little bit after Wellington. He'd had a wingle before that went down with exercise, um, didn't cause him any issues, you know, went down with icing. It was just, yeah, absolutely fine. And then after Wellington, it was just a little bit bigger and a little bit firmer. Um, wasn't causing him any issues whatsoever like i say he was not lame in the slightest but i just thought it has changed so i called the vet and said i think can you just come out have a look at it and scan it just so we can make sure so the vet came out uh, we trotted him up he was completely sound we flexed it it wasn't sore with flexion was sound sound um on the soft we scanned it it just showed a lot of information you know we kind of knew because there was swelling there but she couldn't see anything else no tears to any ligaments tendons nothing like that we both sort of agreed that we think it was maybe just a warning sign that if we did continue possibly something may happen we are just giving him a rest he was on box rest for seven days ten days and then he is in the box in the day and in a small pen overnight so that we can keep him as close to his routine he's sensible in the field basically we want to rest it keep him as still as possible for about four weeks i sent her a picture because it's still a little bit swollen only like i'm talking my Marginally. So she just said continue icing it and give him another week or two. So she'll be coming back out to re-evaluate and re-scan in the next couple of weeks. He is absolutely fine and he was fine. This is the thing. But I just want to be careful. I would never forgive myself. You know, I noticed a change and he's he's important to me it was the end of the season so you know if we have to miss the last few events uh but keep him going that's why you guys haven't really seen much of max especially if you follow me on instagram but he is absolutely happy as you can see licking my face um he's a little bit bored i think he'd be fine if he was in a bigger field but just because he's in the pen he's a little bit bored but he is fine and he is getting to go out so it's the best of both so i'll give you an update when the vet comes back that is the update on max so he is all good 
we're just being precautionary and being careful basically and he just wants all the treats right i've got to move on to the next horse now max so next up is the main man zebedee so he is feeling really well went to cornbury which the vlog still not have come out by this point so i won't tell you how that went zeb is pretty much all good he's got his last event end of october at bicton he is doing the two star short really looking forward to that it'll be our first time going back to bicton since our fall uh, so i think it'll be good just to put you know lay those demons to rest but if you follow me on instagram you will have seen we did have a little bit of a scare with zeb last week brought him in from the field he seemed okay um tacked him up to go on a hack and he just felt really lethargic really tired i had done can to work the day before so i thought maybe you know he's just a bit tired from that his ears they're either normally pricked because he's excited or they're back because he's being a bit moody and he wants to be in front and they were just sort of you know lolloping to the side a bit um and yeah he just he felt really tired and no energy i said to the other girl um okay we need to stop we need to go back we were only literally two minutes from the other yard at this point and then i sort of looked at him and you know from up on top and he was shaking a little bit and his breathing was then really shallow we went back to the other yard um, i jumped off uh, got the thermometer took his temperature um, and his temperature was up at 38.2 which isn't really really high but for him his average is 37 to 37.2 so it was high for him um, and he was really shallow breathing so i called the vet uh, vet came out and basically he had a type of colic um i didn't even know this before but it was basically his spleen had enlarged and it moved into the space where the left kidney should be so that was causing the discomfort she'd given him pain relief and basically we had to see if he brightened up within the next hour or two um with just you know no food and little hand walks because with the walking um helps to move the spleen back he brightened up very quickly actually which i was pleased with so it was a full day of you know i was having to hand walk him every sort of half an hour 40 minutes just five or ten minutes then by the afternoon he was looking much better so he could have a little pick of grass and then overnight he was allowed just a smaller amount of haylage but he did brighten up very quickly and he was absolutely fine by you know couple of days later so that was a massive stress i've never touch wood had you know he's never had any sort of colic before he is all well now he feels great looking great again you know he had a few days off riding obviously just to give him time to rest and recover so that is what's been going on with zeb but he's feeling great now so hopefully that was just a little blip and we are you know back ready and raring to go next up is errol fortunately nothing nothing that major has been happening with errol health wise he is absolutely fine touch wood so just a quick update really um but he's been going really well it has given me a bit of time to focus on errol and just get him out and about we just went cross country schooling actually so that vlog will be live soon we've been to a few dressage competitions some clear rounds the plan with errol is to just keep getting him out and about get him out to some competitions over the winter you know especially while the bigger boys are having some time off him out to some show jumping competitions combined training and arena eventing ready to hopefully go eventing next year so that's very exciting he is five but he's really taken quite a while to mature he's still quite green in some ways you know he's really sensible nothing phases him that much but he's still just very green when jumping can be a little bit unsure i think in the future he's going to be really good because once he sort of really knows what he's doing he's he's great but he is unsure that sort of first time and he can just still be quite sharp i'm chuffed with him and i'm chuffed with how we've really progressed this year and hopefully we just keep progressing basically really excited for the winter of lots of competitions training and seeing where we get to next year last up is kato so if you guys haven't noticed I have no Kato here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will have 
probably already seen. If you don't follow me on Instagram, unfortunately, we have sold Kato, so he went to his new home almost three months ago now. So it was a really tough decision. You guys know I put a video out last year about selling him. We then didn't sell him. I just couldn't really go through with it. I loved him and it, I think it just wasn't really the right time for me. And we've had a great year this year. You know, he's really given me lots of fun. We've had lots of fun together. We've done a few events this year and, you know, done really well. He's really helped me get my confidence back on another horse apart from Zeb after my fall. So I am really grateful for that and we've we've just had loads of fun dad has had loads of fun on him you know doing fun rides um hacking going to the beach you know a hunt trial um we've just had so much fun but unfortunately we had to make the decision um for various different reasons but i just four four was too many it was too many in terms of money in terms of time you know the the money to train them compete them look after them the the time it takes to look after them and train them and i like to do everything you know i take it very seriously and i just four four was too many we had we've just bought our house well almost a year ago now um but as you guys know you know we bought a derelict house that we had to do up and it was just that really took its toll it was a big time commitment and it was definitely the right decision for mine and scott's future so unfortunately we have sold kato i was only going to sell him to the perfect home and i cannot tell you guys he has gone to the best home ever they update me all of the time um keep me in the loop i'm going to teach them at tweezle down you know they're not too far away from me i can see him anytime i want and he is absolutely spoiled and loved beyond belief um, and that's really nice because I think it's when you've got too many as well, there's only so much of my time and my love I can give. Um, so, you know, he's gone to someone who he's the only horse for them. So he is being absolutely spoiled beyond belief, um, is absolutely loving life. And I'm just, I'm so happy. It was, it was the right decision for him as well, as well as me. And, you know, it wasn't a decision I took lightly. It basically took me a whole year to, to come round to it but it, it was it was the best decision really really sad he will be greatly missed by me and all you guys i know you all loved him and he was amazing but just know he is in the best home and he is absolutely loving life he's having loads of fun he's having a real varied life which is what i wanted for him it is sad end of an era that is my update on all my horses a lot has been going on it's you know been very up and down um, um, this this whole year really has been very up and down you know Zeb's had more ailments than I can you know well, I can count them on one hand but he you know we have had the vet out quite a lot it's been very stop start for Max we just got going and then that happened Errol sort of took a back seat at the beginning of the year because of the house and the other horses you know we're getting going with him a bit now and then obviously sadly Kato has gone to his new home I was gonna say I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog not sure it's it's an update but i thought it was much needed because i want to keep you guys all in the loop um and especially those of you who don't follow me on instagram you know you wouldn't have known about zebedee or kato um i haven't shared about max at the minute so i want to do this update video for you so thank you as always so much for all of your support and watching all of these videos and taking an interest in all of my horses and you know what we get up to i really do appreciate it like I, you know i say it every time but we really couldn't do it without you um we really do appreciate all of you um and i love all of your support and i love meeting all of you guys um out at various events so yeah thank you thank you for watching this video um we will see you for another video that's maybe a little bit more exciting with some riding footage